Well, bada da! Oh god! Mental camera record and here comes the car! Or is it? <laughs> anyway, bada da! I'm back! Back at the mental and it's a very snowy mental. Yeah, it is a car, yeah. Works every time. So it's uh I've just been doing a bit of a walk vlog. You may have seen it on the other video that off to the mental or something I'll call it. But um yeah, do you like the intro? I might use that a few times, but people might get bored of it. But I think it's a good intro on my way to the mental and then the updates for I'll uh, just do the, the usual natter. No sign of my security guard, friend, my mate. He uh, gives me a standoff. But yeah, very snowy. Very snowy mental. And the sheep are back. They went there before in my last vlog. But anyway, there's the uh, front buildings and the nurse's home. I got asked about the nurse's home. It's on three levels. Ground floor, first floor and second floor. And all the rooms are all on this side. All there, that's all the rooms. And the corridors, three corridors are at the back. And they run, only, only narrow. And they run past all the doors. All the doors that are still there, all the doors have been ripped off. Ripped off the hinges. But uh, that is the back of the nurse's home. The front of the nurse's home is the other side. And there's well, what was the engineer's house. There's only the two ways in. Front gates, we used to call it, and across the front side of the nurse's home. Uh, but yeah, no sign of my mate today. No doubt he'll make an appearance. I'll, I'll pop down to the, the usual. Um, but yeah, there was only the two entrances, but the, the main entrance they used to use, the bottom there, the front gates there, we used to call them. Originally there wasn't gates there until they started locking the patients in. They put gates because they did literally used to to a certain date all the patients they were locked in their wards. The hospitals locked up, the gates were locked up, and there was absolutely no one in the hospital or the grounds or anywhere else. No staff, no doctors, no nurses, just the patients were locked in. And that's how it used to go until I have mentioned it, it's to a certain date, I can't remember off the top of my head now. And then they used to open up the next day, it was from 10 at night, I think, till 6 in the morning. The patients used just to lock them in, and then they used to open up the next day and you'd, you'd, they'd find patients would be dead and stuff like that, or had a fit and died and stuff, but... And then they stopped it then, and they had staff there 24 hours, 24-7. Shame, it's such a shame, but uh, anyway. There's the uh, front buildings and the nurse's home. Or oh, what was the nurse's home? But... And any sign of my friend? No sign of him. So yeah, I just popped. I'm just doing a, a vlog on my way here. But that'll be on a separate video, but yeah. Did you like the intro? <laughs> Answers on a postcard. I might use it a few times where people will get bored of it. Anyway, the cars, camera, record, mental cars, and <laughs> right. Wow, it's cold. The wind's cold up here. Just that little bit extra height. So I'll pop down the front to the front gates. See what's happening down there, and then I'll pop down, but go down the uh, haunted cinder track. <laughs> Almost forgot to mention that then. <laughs> And see what's happening down there, but no f sign of my mate. And these are where the two airing courts used to call them one there and one the other side there. For the patients that weren't allowed out into the grounds. Some patients weren't allowed to come and go as they wanted. Some patients were locked in the wards. It was Bring Golai, it was at the back there. Well, that's been demolished. That was a secure ward for the patients that were dangerous. Um, the isolation hospital is there. That's where they used to put them if they had contagious diseases. It was a hospital within a hospital. Um, but yeah, the, the airing courts, where they used to let them out to get a bit of fresh air, there'd be a door on the side. It was a walled off section, two sections, one there and one there. And the 
patients just all day, she just wandered around, just round and round in circles. They were called the airing courts because they couldn't actually get out into the grounds. They couldn't escape because they used to get a few escapees, which I've talked about a million and one times, to go up to the castle there and threat to jump and stuff like that. Right, I'll drop down to the front gate, have a bit of a nose down there and see what's happening at the Jones Brothers entrance and then I'll wander down the cinder track. And that'll be it then for this uh, update of the mental. Oh, cinder track's haunted by the way. Almost forgot to mention that. Right, this is what was called the front gate or the main entrance. And this was the one that was used to, hey, the shoes come off. Shoes falling down. But so uh, yeah, this was the entrance that was used. It's what we call it the main entrance, but uh, no sign of my mate. That's the, uh, the front door there. And that's where the chapel originally was. And the water tank was at the top of there. They used to pump it. On the stream down in Astrid there. <laughs> that was up there. So yeah, it's the pump it for patients. It's the pump it from a reservoir. I don't know where exactly where the reservoir was in the grounds, but it's to pump it up to a tank, big tank up in the um, tower there. And then they bought Thin Bran, which is way on the top of the Denby Moors there. They spent, I don't know, what, a couple of grand on it or something like that. And it's called the Mental Reservoir, or the Mental Lake, some call it. And it's Thin Bran, right high on Denby Moors, and the water was piped all the way from that reservoir to the Mental. Like I said, originally it came from uh, uh, Garth Hill. There was a stream by Garth Hill, the other side of the Mental. And the water was diverted, and then they pumped it from the, uh, the River Astrid, and as I say, and then they, uh, they bought the reservoir at the top of the high on Denby Moors and they got a pipe all the way down to the metal to supply it with water. Right, I'll uh, head in now to the uh, Jones Brothers entrance of the Shufty down there, and then I'll go down the cinder track and see what's going on. Probably not a lot. Oh, and the cinder track is haunted too, I might not have mentioned that. So this is the entrance that uh, Jones Brothers are using now. They're uh, not using the uh, main entrance there. Just uh, having a look if my mate's here. He'd be here somewhere. He'd probably be in a hut with a heater on and a big mug of tea. Because <laughs> it's really cold. It's colder here than it was when I started off. But uh, yeah, that's where the, all the Jones Brothers offices are and stuff like that. But uh, there's no cold wind here, it's very calm. There's another window gone there. See, every time I come here, the window gone there. I see a bit of a more weather damage. Every time it's just, it's literally just falling to bits. Slowly, bit by bit, it's just, uh, won't be anything left there soon. Oh, that lot come from, they must have ploughed it. Bits of get like that. But yeah, it's um I'll keep doing these updates, don't you worry. I know a lot of people who couldn't care less about the place, but and I forgot to mention it, I literally have forgot to mention 25 years now I've been documenting this place. Quarter of a century. And I ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Anyway, I'm gonna head down the haunted cinder track now. See what's going on down there. So this is the uh, haunted cinder track, which is haunted by the way, just because I never mentioned it. And that is, that's the ongoing joke by the way, it's been going for years now. I used to get one or two people moaning, saying, oh, it's all you talk about is the cinder track and the Goblin Tower and it's haunted and all that. Moaning people on Facebook, aren't there? There's a lot of moaners on Facebook, and 
So I just, uh, more people moan, the more I'll t keep doing it. So this is haunted, by the way. I might not have mentioned that. It's a cinder track. And I'm not going to go into why it's called the cinder track. If you're new to my channel, you're probably thinking, why is he calling it the cinder track? But if you're a regular and a subscriber and more of you, you must be sick of me to say, explaining why it's called the cinder track. But anyway, obviously, basically, and it's haunted, by the way, just in case I never mentioned it. I thought there'd be a bit of snow on the track, but there's nothing. Right, I'll get a bit further and then I'll speak to you again. So yeah, haunted cinder truck. <laughs> but uh, maybe let's have a look. As I said earlier, the buildings, especially now when, when I was doing my tours and you know in the grounds, it uh, was dangerous. Um, some floors, well, 7A, 7B, and 8 female wards, which is there. The floors are good on that. Obviously, the roof's not, but the floors are solid concrete, and it's the same in the front buildings and to the side. But the ones at the back, the uh, timber framed, um, you know, timber floors, I should say. Oof, absolutely, they're probably not there now anyway. They're probably rotted away, but. You just literally like tissue paper, I would describe it as. Literally like tissue paper. <laughs> but uh, yeah, down there, on the left, you come to the pavilion. Cricket in the rugby ground and that, but yeah, I don't know why I bother coming down the cinder track now. There's nothing going on. Well, a few of the uh, sort of window dropped out completely there now. So, right, I'll head back and uh, if I see Mr. Security, I'll give him a wave. <laughs> I'm not expecting a wave back, by the way, but I don't know why he's, he doesn't want to come and have a chat. He knows, he, he will know who I am, 100% he'll know who I am. But uh, he doesn't want to know, he doesn't want to come for a chat. He gives me the standoff, he stands like that. I'm security, don't mess with me. And then he walks off then. So I don't know why to why he doesn't come. Oh, there's some horses at the bottom there. What is it, a horse or a giant sheep? I don't know what the hell it is? <laughs> a giant sheep. <laughs> a sheep the size of a horse. Oh lambs! Oh yeah, of course, yeah. They're out now, aren't they? I could zoom in on. Is it gonna focus? There we go. Little lambs. With their wool coat to keep them warm. Gonna need it, man. Oh, it's colder here than it was when I started off. But my town wasn't too bad at all. I was doing a vlog, I've done a you know off to the mental vlog, if you ever want to watch that. So I just have a natter. Um fire. The haunted cinder. No, not the haunted cinder track. See, I talk about that too much. The haunted goblin tower. Although the cinder track is haunted, because I might not have mentioned that. But yeah, I just done like a bit of a natter and a vlog, so I'm just doing this as a separate video. The update on an update on an update of nothing's going on, just the mental fall into bits. And then I'll carry on with the vlog of the off to mental vlog. <laughs> So, right, I'll uh, head my way back now, up to the top road, past the front gate again. And there's a couple of cars, it's surprising. The amount of people did they drive, and I had it now, there's two cars, and they come past the front gate, and they slow right down, and they have a look. So, the interest is there, people are interested in the place. So that's why I say, I'll keep doing these updates, and I'll keep visiting. 25 years, documenting a mental. And it ain't gonna stop anytime soon. So the interest is there. I get a lot of it. I get a lot of. To be fair, people that do comment. I know a lot of people watch my videos, but they don't comment, which is fair enough. But I do, and they say, "Oh, thanks for so much. For, you know, showing us the mental and updating us and stuff like that." Even though nothing's happening, just updating that the mental's phones a bit. <laughs> okay, so I'll get back onto the uh, main road and head towards the uh, front gate and up to the top road and. I see Mr. Security. 
I'll get him on camera. He, you never know. I won't hold my breath, but he might give me a wave. <laughs> right, keep going. And then I'll carry on with the other vlog then. The off to the mental vlog. Which a lot of you find interesting. Anyway, enough of my waffling. See you in a minute. So yeah, just passing the, uh, as what, what's called the front gate, and as I see it quite often, people driving either this way or that way, and they come here and they slow right down, and they have a, they have a gander. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, no sign of him, my mate. So I'll head up to the top road and have a no nose, and then I'll be here for another. NWH update. And just there, which is just more or less opposite the gate here, there was a wood, woodland, only small. And when we were kids, we made dens there and stuff like that. And we called it Skelly's Wood, as in skeleton wood, because there was all um, skeletons of sheep, sheep heads. Bones and all sorts. What they were doing there, no idea, but there was loads of them 50, 60, 70, all scattered. Like I say, it was only small wood. Right here it was, right there. Just to get to it from the Guinea. Like I say, there were skeletons all over the place, and that's what we call this Skelly's wood. Skelly, not skeleton or skeleton wood, but we used to call it Skelly's. Where should we go? Should we go to Skelly's? We used to say, we used to. We saw a den there, but it was all these skeleton heads. <laughs> Weird. Right, top road, and then I'll have a, another nose, see if my mate's about. And then that'll be it. <laughs> Just before I switch this camera on, a car pass and give you a hoot. Beep, beep. Let me vents. <laughs> so, right, I'll have a look if my mate's about. No sign of him today, but he'll be there. He'll be in the grounds there somewhere. They seek him here. They seek him there. <laughs> the security guard. That house there's still boarded up too. Don't know what's happened to that. It's been like that for a while. And Talavan is getting done up at the back there. You can't see it from here. Talavan and Gwynrin. But, no security guard, but he'll be there, he'll be in there somewhere. He's probably, like I said, be in his hut. A bit mug of tea. Or coffee. Or soup. Be a nice soup. But, uh, yeah, no sign of him today. Not that he were, would give me a wave anyway. So, right, I'll end this uh, update on an update on an update of nothing happening. <laughs> And I'll see you again. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll get back to my uh, off to the mental vlog. I'll carry on filming that. So you may be interested in that. So anyway, obviously, basically, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again.